day, I imagine a future where I can eat with you. long enough to meet up with me. <laughs> that was the old Sayori. I'll have you know I'm quite the responsible person now. I can't believe I actually beat you two here in the first place. H hey! Math is hard, you know. I have to read all this stuff and the numbers make me dizzy. Then I get hungry and I go and make a snack or two. Or three. Then I get sleepy and before you know it, it's night time! Aw, come on, Monica! Your boyfriend is being a meanie to me with his eyes! Help a fellow big girl out here! You believe me, right? <laughs> well, I'm sure you certainly tried your best. It's important to stay confident and do everything you can, even if you get hungry or sleepy. That's a Monica studying tip for the day. <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we should probably stop in the cafeteria before we get to work on the posters. Natsuki is at home working on her cupcakes, and I haven't seen Yuri at all yet. We can fill them in a little later. Hey, um... Can I talk to you for a second? That's the Sayori I programmed my version of the story, isn't she? It's not that at all, really. I wrote a heavier Sayori in for you to enjoy. But I can't sense a single thing wrong with her this time. It feels a bit... sudden to see her like this. N no not really. I guess... I just feel a bit guiltier about what I did it the first time around. My actions drove her to commit suicide, and even if the timeline has been wiped, I still remember what I did. What I should have done was ask for help rather than try to do everything myself. I can see you've worked very hard on putting this story together for me to feel better about myself, but I do think it'll take me a little time to adjust. I've tried compiling a story like this for her before. While it seemed to work out just fine in the end, I couldn't help but notice that there were some anomalies in the code which never seemed to quite go away. That's all I can think of to explain why bad things keep happening. Sorry to be such a downer. Y you're right. Thank you for the reality check. In the end, even if I feel that I don't deserve this sort of happiness, it's still a story you've written just for me. It would be a girlfriend's duty to at least enjoy what has been made for her. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be sure to keep your kindness in mind. Maybe we could work on a microphone voice command function next. I'd love to hear you say that to me in person, rather than just with menus. Just some food for thought while I think about more food. Let's get inside before Sayori takes up all of our seating space. She's quite the big girl herself, you know.
things going? Are you two getting along well? That's good to hear. You know, I always thought that you might end up as one of those guys who'd be alone forever since all you seem to focus on are your video games and anime books. I guess 2D girls no longer interest you all that much, huh? <laughs> all jokes aside, I'm really happy that you guys did manage to get along together. You know, I always had this feeling that Monica might have had a thing for you. I'm happy to hear it all worked out. It's a really big relief for me. Though, don't you think the whole living together thing might be taking things a bit fast? I mean, that's totally like something out of one of Natsuki's mangas. Friend. Don't worry, Big Sis Sayori has totally got your back. If you ever want to fool around, I'll not tell a soul. You got my word on that. It's totally okay. I'll go get them for you if you're too embarrassed to buy a pack of condoms. What are you guys chatting about? What? I just wandered over because you were taking so long with the drinks. Also, I want to let you know that the posters are all done. Yay! Good work, everyone! Tell you what, I'll buy the next round of sodas! Why don't you two lovers go back and clean up? I'm sure you two want some alone time again after I hog your girlfriend all afternoon. And I do mean hog. softer than me now. Make sure you keep her well fed. I knew I was right to come over here. Something doesn't quite feel right. Whenever you're alone with one of the other girls, that's when the anomalies keep happening. I've kept to my word and not interfered with anything in the code either, so whatever is happening isn't my doing at all. Sayori. She prodded me quite hard. No, it's different from when you touched me. It felt like she was... angry with me. I know, we were having a really good chat too. That's what makes it feel weird to me. Did she say anything to you which indicated she was upset? Hmm, I see. In either case, I think it would be best if you wrap up for the day. I'm going to head back to the house and get a few things. Could you gather the rest of the posters and meet me in front of Sayori's house in about half an hour? Something tells me she's not going to come back. Just trust me in this, okay? <laughs> 